Hey, handsome. Hi, handsome boy. Hi, Rocky. Oh, are you giving snow kisses? Hi, everybody. As promised, I wanted to do a little update on uh, Rocky and Snow, the two that we rescued yesterday. For any of you that might have missed it, I don't know how you possibly could. Uh, we posted video after video from the second that I received the urgent plea for help and the video of us rescuing these two beautiful souls, Rocky and Snowy. Rocky is seven years of age and Snow is one. These two gorgeous babies have lived their entire life outside in Liberty City, Miami. In dirt, mm -hmm. in kennels, on wood planks. Rocky definitely, his, his battle scars show his life's journey. Um, he has callus on his elbows. He is hot worm positive. He is very unfamiliar with being indoors and is not comfortable being indoors just yet. He's learning the air conditioning, um, just being inside. He was always living outside his entire life. It is a little bit of a challenge getting him in and out of his room but he is really, really, really coming around. They are nothing but pure love. They are so grateful. They are so loving and so sweet. Rocky received all of his medical, his vetting yesterday. He didn't flinch. He got a microchip. He got vaccines, uh, deworming. Uh, his ears were cleaned out with such dirt and gunk in his ears. He has two, in, two ear infections, which... He is now on proper medications for. Um, like I said, he was vaccinated. He had x-rays done and uh, sub-Q fluids for dehydration. One of the best saves. There you go, Keith. <clears throat> he is sadly hot worm positive and we've started him on doxycycline, which is the first step to treat heartworm, and then we will decide what to do next from there. You can see his poor feet, his paws have all the scars from just enduring the elements of outside. Guys, it is so freaking brutally hot outside that we just had them out and we had to come in after about five, 10 minutes because it's the humidity is unbearable. So when I sit out there and 10 minutes I'm dying and sweating and I, I don't know how any animal is, is forced to live outside 24 seven and I want you to use your mind and I want you to envision a dog living outside 24 seven around the clock um, in a kennel environment on a wood plank. The water was green and dirty, um, dry food down. Um, little snow was on a tether and they were in, enclosed in a um, pen area like a chain link. Rocky is seven years of age and he would do so amazing in a home environment with somebody who had a fenced yard, somebody who is just around and would love a companion. There is no greater reward in the entire world than to love an animal, a rescue, back to life. Every day they show you how grateful that they are, rewarding you with love and lots of kisses and smiles and hugs. You like the cold floor, don't you, Rocky? He got a bath. Yes, our wonderful 100 plus team this morning um, gave Rocky a bath. As you can see, he's nice and white. He was so dirty. We just touched him and our hands were black. Um, he's gorgeous and white. And of course, little snow over there is white as a, a cotton ball. He's just a big, gentle soul. You're a big mushy face. Yes, you are. You're a big mushy face. Rocky, you want to go back to your room? Would you like to go back to your comfort zone? He's 81 pounds. He's a gentle giant. And he's nothing but love. And I would love to find these two their forever homes. Of course, ideally... Wouldn't it be awesome to find a home where they could be together? Um, remember, he's seven, she's one. We're not even going to start with the whole bonded pair. I can't even. 
please don't even bring that up to me unless you are willing to take both in uh, together. So we are looking for a forever home for Rocky and a forever home for Snow. It would be fantastic if we could get them to stay together. That would be so, look at the size difference of them in their heads. Uh, when we feed them, she goes right up and they share everything, food, water, they give each other kisses. Um, they kind of lay together. They they do. I mean, she goes underneath him like a bridge. She crawls on top of him. He allows her to do anything and everything she wants. It's almost like she protects him. You protecting him and letting him know it's okay? Yes. Yes. Let's try to go back in the room, Rocky. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Snow. Rocky, come on. Don't make me grab you. Come on, Rocky. Ah. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on, come on, that's a good boy. Snow, go on, get on in. Rocky's going. Uh-uh, not the door, this way. Come on, this way, Bubby, come on. Come on, good boy. Come on, Snow, come on. Come on, a little push, come on. Good boy. Come on, Snow, come on, let's go, get in. Come on, Snow, come on, come on, uh, 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 Rocky, come on, Snow. Snow, snow, come on, come on, let's go, come on, bye-bye, Colleen, can you help me for a sec, come here, come on, snow, now she doesn't want to come, <laughs> come on, yeah, she's not wanting to come in, I got Rocky, Rocky came in just fine, little push, I love Rocky too, come on, come on, there you go. <coughs> Got plenty of water and food. Come on. Come on, you. And I'll grab the door behind you. Awesome. Perfect. Here we go. Nice and cool in here. Oh, it's so nice. That's a good boy. As you can see, um, <clears throat> we changed out all the linens. Everybody has comfortable soft blankies. They're very comfortable in the room for now, considering, just imagine, they came from living outside. Thank you, Faith. Thank you, everybody that's mentioning what an amazing save. Um, I'm very proud of my team. I'm very proud that we could save these two beautiful lives. And um, we just have such an awesome team when it comes time to just kind of kicking into uh, rescue gear. And, you know, your adrenaline rushes through the roof. You just, you're all, your mind is going in a million different directions. And all you can think of is, I have to get them safe. I have to get them safe. I have to get them out of there. You don't think about what you're walking into. You don't think that you're actually driving to a city that is free shooting, that is on the news all the time. Um, this is Liberty City, Miami. It is not a good place. Trust me when I tell you. Not a good place. <clears throat> So if anybody here is willing to offer the sweetest boy in the world, Rocky, a forever home or even a foster home, it would be so fantastic. Oh, great. We just had her outside and now she's peeing on the pee pee pad. <laughs> That's a good girl. It's better than the blanket. Yeah. And what I really would like to say to each and every one of you, um, right now I see there are 195 people watching my video. Um, I know. You're very happy. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on. You want dad? Go get the baby. Go get it. Snow is 20 pounds and Rocky is 81 pounds. Um, <clears throat> definitely feeling the love, Judy. What I wanted to say to each and every one of you was thank you, first and foremost, because when I put out my urgent plea after I received the call from their mom, um, begging me to take them and I received the photos I I just I knew I could not turn away um, sometimes you know these faces just they just haunt you and um, I just want to say that when I put my plea out there you are all there for myself and for these dogs to allow me to say yes to allow me to run and get them and allow me to bring them into our organization and vet them um, financially uh, we can't continue without your love and support so thank you so very very much truly from the bottom of my heart um, 
for allowing me and for allowing me to say yes because I'm I'm not saying this just to say this I don't say anything just to say anything um, but I, I mean it that without all of you none of this would be possible and I said it last night you should all be very proud of yourselves you should all be giving yourselves a, a big hug and a pat on the back because it's wonderful loving caring animal lovers like yourselves that allow us and our organization to save all these helpless abandoned and suffering lives um, I'm seeing Susan Asowich. Hello, Susan. I'm so sorry I missed you the other day. It's just been a crazy roller coaster ride. Um, I know you stopped by and I don't know how I missed you. I apologize. Um, and Pauline Dunbar, love you to the moon and back. So appreciate you. Um, so, Lauren, I see you're asking, did the blood work come back? The blood work came back perfect for. Um, Rocky minus the heartworm, of course. And Miss Thing over here, Miss Snow, is absolute perfection. She's heartworm negative. Yay. Um, all of her blood work is perfect, and she is going to be spayed tomorrow morning. So that is our beautiful Snow. Uh, sadly, and I was so disappointed and heartbroken when I heard that Rocky was heartworm positive. We actually ran the test twice. So it sucks. I love this boy so much. He is more gentle than a little chihuahua. <laughs> He's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Speaking um, of chihuahua and chihuahua mixes, um, you know, for any of you uh, that were watching faithfully yesterday, you did see about a third dog, and we named the third dog Dalton. Um, I'm gonna flip it on me so you're looking, if you don't mind looking at me for just a few minutes. Um, hi everybody, Amy here. I wanted to update you also, uh, not just on Rocky and Snow, but I wanted to update everybody on Dalton. Oh, low battery for a change. I have enough battery to get, get me through this update on Dalton. Uh, Dalton, I received a call from Dr. Worley at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist yesterday. And while this was all going on with my call from the owner of uh, Selena of Rocky and Snow uh, begging me for assistance. So Dr. Worley called me and said she had a adorable sweet dog um, at the animal hospital. He was hit, uh, they believe, by a car, uh, major trauma, broken pelvis, um, a broken leg, he needed an FHO surgery. and. They do not have a surgeon on hand there any longer. They're looking for a surgeon at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialists. Um, but they didn't have anybody that was willing pro bono to do the surgery um, on, sorry, on Little Dalton. So she basically, in a, in a text, told me that she was desperate, um, needed to find a rescue, that our name was given to her by several people. And... Um, she said she stabilized him, he's on pain medication, and um, that he needed rescue by the end of the day or they were going to force her to euthanize him. And she's like, Amy, I, he's the sweetest thing, please, I can't euthanize this dog. So of course, I then asked for a photo. Um, she said she called Coral Springs, a friend of hers works there, she spoke to the surgeon, and the um, surgeon stated that it would be approximately $3,000 that he would not need a um, surgery to repair his um, pelvis, but he would need the FHO surgery. So, uh, of course, all of that changed. Um, after I spoke to Coral Springs Animal Hospital on several occasions, uh, yesterday I had to give them right up front $4,800 to get everything started. And um, I received a call early this morning from the doctor uh, letting me know that he was going to go in for surgery this afternoon. I then received another phone call from the surgeon after the surgery. Um, they repaired the FHO. Um, he is resting comfortably. They neutered him also. Um, they did something with the pelvis, but they didn't need to reconstruct the entire thing. Um, the other issue they're having is they don't know um, right this second because of the trauma, if it's just swollen. Uh, but they couldn't even run a catheter um, to get him to, he's not urinating. So there is a test that will be done if he doesn't urinate on his own by tomorrow morning. There's always something. 
Um, and she said to me, you know, Amy, what, you're always the one that takes these, you know, critical and these five to ten thousand dollar cases. She's like, every time I'm calling you, it's always these critical, critical. And I said, well, nobody else is stepping up. So I could not stand by and watch this little face and this baby be killed over money and a piece of paper when I have the ability to beg um, and beg and beg and beg uh, and try to cover the cost to save little Dalton's life. Um, so I did and I begged and I begged and I begged and I will tell you that I have no pride um, when it comes to these little faces and these souls that have nobody. Uh, if I did not speak up for Dalton, he didn't even have a name. Um, if I didn't speak up for him and give him a name and give him the surgery, he would be dead right now. He'd be in a body bag. He'd be dead. He'd be not gone. Um, and to me, that's just, if I can't. I can't. So um, I want to also uh, just for a second, thank you, Pauline. I want to say just for a second, um, when we are rescue, are, are in the rescue mode mission, uh, for example, my team, we were out heading to Liberty, Liberty City. Um, I reached out to Tiffany. Um, it was her day off. Um, we don't have days off anymore. It's just like, it seems like there's always something, but that's fine. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I asked her if she could go and pick up Dalton. She said, absolutely. Um, he was he was very comfortable on proper pain management and he was in the car and she was driving and then you've got these people I don't know anybody I'm not mentioning names but you have these keyboard warriors that are dictating and screaming at poor Tiffany while her adrenaline and she's already trying to get him safe and get him to the hospital and they're yelling at her and telling her what she should be doing and what she shouldn't be doing and I'm gonna ask each and every one of you to please, before you type and before you say something, I'm asking you to please think. It's very hurtful, it's very upsetting. Um, I know Tiffany was extremely upset about it. Um, Tiffany's not one to kind of lash out, but I saw she lashed out a little bit in the video and she had every right to. Um, and it's not with any disrespect, it's I'm asking everyone to please be considerate of everybody's feelings and exactly it's it's not right it's not fair Stay with me. sorry about that so please before typing before dictating what we should what we should be doing we shouldn't be doing that we're doing this wrong or this stop just stop um nicely if you have a suggestion we're open we're always it's a forum it's a it's, this is a forum for people to you know voice their opinions um ask questions but do not come on my Facebook page that I work so hard and my team works so hard and disrespect any of us because we would never disrespect any of you ever ever um, always respect one another always be kind to one another um, and 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 that's why I love animals <laughs> Just leave it at that. that's why I focus my you laughing well you boy watch it and that's why I love animals right snow that's why we love animals uh-huh Say, yeah, Amy. That's why. <laughs> because they're so loving, unconditional, so innocent. And guess what? They don't talk back. <laughs> they don't talk back. They just love and unconditional. Um, so we'll leave that alone. We'll move on now that I got that off my chest. And I just want to say thank you to Tiffany for picking him up and taking him to Coral Springs and spending hours there. I want to say thank you to all of my team that came here, uh, Zoe and Jesse and Pam, um, and then uh, Darla, and then this morning we had Jan and Tammy uh, bathing, and then Colleen is here today. So thank you. Um, it takes a village. Yeah, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Hey, amen, Jan. Um, <laughs> Anyways, thank you again to each and every one of you again for donating. Um, it takes a village. We have an amazing team. We have so much to look forward to. As you can see, Colleen is wreaking all the benefits of these two beautiful souls that we rescued. Getting love. And these dogs are so grateful and sucking it all up. 
I'm gonna flip it one more time before my phone dies. Nanny, what are we doing? Yes, snow, snow, snow. I know. I know my boo 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 boo. He's right here. How's Rocky? Lane, here he is. He had a bath. He's eating. He made a big stinky poopy this morning. Big stinky poopy. Um, he's just, he's chill. He's comfortable. Every day is going to get better. Every single day is going to get better. So for any of you that may have been just jumping on to this video, I've been talking, talking, talking. Um, go back, start it over, and you'll hear all the whole entire update. And great, Jesse, can't wait to see you. Um, Jesse said she'll be here in less than an hour. Um, and for any of you um, that missed all of yesterday, go back when you have some time, kick back, pour a glass of wine or an iced tea, um, and watch all the tissues, watch all the wonderful videos that we posted yesterday of our wonderful rescues from Snow and Rocky and Dalton. Again, love you guys so very much. Um, we have a, an amazing, busy, 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 busy weekend coming up because um, guess what? We got approved. We got our business license. This morning I woke up, I uh, jumped in my car, went down, and I got my, I said, please, please, please make a rush on it, and I got it in hand. So we are good to go. Rescue house number two is going to be open this weekend, and we are going to the shelters on Sunday. Um, Sunday we are going to the shelters, and we're going to be saving a lot of lives, and we're going to be filling up house of love number two. Um, everybody, thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. And because of you, all these lives are being saved. So, Mwah. we'll see you guys later today. Have a great rest of the day. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you.